Are you one of those boaters who doesn't wear your dinghy kill switch because you find it annoyingly stopping your engine when you don't mean it to? That's actually a bad idea. I'm Carolyn Sherlock, and on this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast, I share how you can keep yourself safe in the dinghy without the annoyance of a kill switch on your wrist. Now, this episode of the Boat Galley Podcast is sponsored by Infinity, the most trusted name in woven vinyl flooring in the marine industry. Since 2008, Infinity has offered boat owners premier flooring options proven to withstand even the most demanding environments. Each of their products is equipped with UV-stable fade resistance and antimicrobial technology, giving them both durability and style that can't be matched. Are you thinking about kicking carpet to the curb? Make the switch to Infinity and see the difference that true luxury makes. Visit InfinityLWV.com and use the coupon code BG20 for 10% off any area rug. Limit one per customer. Okay, so let's talk about that pesky dinghy kill switch. Wearing the outboard kill switch is important, seriously. If you're the driver, particularly if you're alone, and happen to fall out, it's likely that the dinghy will travel in a circle and hit you. Believe me, you don't want to be hit by a prop. As a teenager, twice I helped rescue someone who had been hit, and I never want to see injuries like those again. One was a diver, one was a water skier. Dinghies weren't involved in those, but still they were props, and it's awful. I know of one incident in the Bahamas about five years ago where a boater was killed after falling out of his circling dinghy, and a rescuer was seriously injured. I've recently heard of a couple more very serious injuries and numerous near misses. In another case, the dinghy went straight and the driver was left over a half mile offshore. A pretty long swim, not to mention needing to replace the dinghy. Okay, the kill switch instantly stops the motor when the lanyard is pulled. So the dinghy doesn't circle back to you to hit you or head out to parts unknown. It simply stops right near you. But the kill switch only works if you wear the leash. And that's the problem. People generally wear the lanyard around their wrist. If you reach out to grab something out of the water or grab the dog who's about to jump overboard, you'll probably pull the clip out. And then the motor stops. You'll have to put the clip back in, start the motor, and go on your way. Maybe to have to do it all over again. So people get annoyed and don't wear them. Here's a better idea if you need your hands free. Slip the lanyard around your ankle. If you go overboard, it'll still stop the motor, but you're not as likely to kill the motor just by reaching for something. Most of the time, I do wear the kill switch, some call it a dead man, on my wrist. At our sailing club, however, I often pulled the marks after races using our dinghy, and that meant coasting up to the mark, standing up and grabbing it, and pulling it into the dink. And it used to be that I wouldn't wear the dead man, because in reaching for the mark, I'd inevitably kill the motor. I knew I should wear it, but it was just too annoying. Here I was, running full speed from one buoy to another, standing in the boat, leaning over, pulling buoys, and I wasn't wearing the kill switch? Dumb! 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 One day it hit me. Nothing said I had to loop it around my wrist. Why not my ankle? Works for me. And I frequently do it since then, particularly when we're doing trash cleanup days. I hope you'll make it a habit to wear the kill switch. Please. Thanks for listening to the Boat Galley Podcast. What else do you want to know about cruising and living aboard? Let us know. There's an email link in the show notes.